The Beatles say, all you need is love, and I'm going to fight for that. Well, hello. So I'm going to talk about tips for taking. Hello, hello, Dale Majors here, and welcome to another video. All the videos on Venture Anyway are geared towards helping you take action and be more of the person that you want to become. So subscribe, click the bell, and join us on the journey. So the Beatles say, all you need is love. Love is all you need, right? And so what does that have to do with business? And as the more that I've been consulting and, and doing personal coaching and, and learning more about interpersonal issues at work or home, it comes down to the to that four letter word, right? To love and, and how, how we feel about other people. So I'd like to jump into the first book. So I've got five examples of business books that have really taken off and been influential that really just kind of come down to, to caring a lot and, and, and loving, okay? So first, the first book is Leadership and Self-Deception by the Arbinger Institute. So if you haven't read that one, if you have a lot of like interpersonal issues at home or at work, I really recommend you read this, okay? So it talks about being in the box towards someone or being out of the box. So I want you to imagine that you're driving in, in your car and you have one of your best friends in the passenger seat and he spills a soda all over. Um, how are you going to respond to that friend of yours? You're really good friends, right? So think about that. And then I want you to swap that person, the really good friend, with someone that you work with or someone in your, in your life that you really don't like, okay? That you, that you don't enjoy as a person. So how are you now going to respond to that person? And that's the example that they talk about in the Arbinger Institute of being in the box with someone where you just can't really see all the other good things. Oh, this with your friend, you're going to forgive them because they've been around for so many good things and they're they're so great that you're just going to shake it off and you're not going to you're not going to um, you're not going to be all crazy mad at them. Where if it's your bad coworker, you'd probably react much differently. Okay, so in that book, they talk all, all about how you can see people with more of the lens of looking at them towards your friends. And what what is that if it's not just love, right? How you see and how you feel towards other people, your reactions are going to correlate very strongly to that feeling that you have towards them. And that's love. Number two is Stephen Covey. He wrote the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And one thing that I love about that whole book is he talks about how it's more than just tactics. We can't just, um, we have to be, we have to have integrity. We can't just, you know, uh, talk about integrity or, or act like we have integrity or just obey the rules. We have to fully be good people, okay? So one thing that it makes me think about is in management, you a lot of times have to give reprimands or you have to, you have to fix behavior. So in a lot of business books, they'll talk about Oh, give the feedback sandwich, right? Say something good, say something nice, give the hard feedback, and then give them something nice again. Where I would say that the feedback sandwich, well, it may be an okay tactic. If you don't care about the person, it doesn't matter how good you make that sandwich and how skilled you are in making that sandwich, it's still gonna taste bad to the person eating it, okay? To the person eating your feedback. And the thing that I love about the Stephen Covey's work is it talks so much more about who we really are and how we feel towards people. So a lot of that comes down to being genuine and loving others, okay? Book three is How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And one thing that I love about his book, the whole, the whole time it talks about being interested in others and, and it shares tons of stories, at the end of the day, if we don't really care about someone or if we're looking at them as if they're valuable, then it's gonna be hard for them to feel liked, okay? And that's love again. If we care about people, it doesn't really matter. Um, we can use as many of the tactics we want to be friendly and the right body positions and everything else, but we, if we don't truly care about people, then people are gonna see through it. The whole book, again, is about love. So book four, Brene Brown, she has all of her books on vulnerability and shame, and it's really just about loving yourself and being okay with yourself and valuing yourself. Again, it comes down to love. 
and book five, and maybe this is a stretch, but Simon Sinek in Start With Why, he talks about getting really clear on what your purpose is and on your why, that what really drives you. And really, it's just what do we love the most in life and then having integrity with our outside life and actually doing those things in our life, right? It comes down to love again. So thank you for watching. There, here, here we make videos five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'm sure that we'll show a few here on this end screen. But thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time.